I've been hiking for about an hour and a half now, probably close to three miles in. And just looked up on the hill and we see three bears right now. A couple weeks ago, me and Nick came in here and seen 17 bears in one day on the same drainage. So I'm hoping that a very similar day, find a good one and uh, I'll fill a tag. We just uh, shot a bear, so pretty awesome morning. We've seen about seven now. This is one of the bigger ones that we saw this morning, and got a couple couple tags in my pocket. So uh, looks like a great bear, about 200 yards. Looked like I hit him really good the first time, and kind of soaked it really well, and went to the right. And was able to get another one in him, and took a peek, and he's laying down there. So he's expired, and we're just gonna gather our stuff and head down there. But 2023. Off to a good start. I'm super excited. Yeah, awesome. And we're going to be back in here in about six days for my boy and, and Nick and myself have a tag, another one. So, a lot more hunting to come. Alright, it is May 19th. We've got four days left of the season. Jackson's with us on this trip. He drew the tag as well. So this is going to be his first backcountry backpacking trip. So we're really excited to take him up there and show him what it's all about. We're in uh, some of the biggest country in Idaho. So he's in for a real treat here. It's going to be a lot of fun. But we've got a big group of guys today. Nick. Jeremy behind camera and Gregory so lots of help we've got several tags I've seen a lot of bears I shot one last week I've got another tag too so it's gonna be a good trip man we're excited okay. Okay. It takes a little bit to get used to just change your stride We've been uh, working our way up the drainage, 740, so we've been hiking for about an hour and a half. Just slow going, it's a little bit smoky today. There must be doing some prescribed burn somewhere, but it's uh, kind of socked in, so it's making it more of a challenge to, to glass. We're almost to our glassing spot. We just got about a 200 foot climb, and then we'll sit for an hour or so and just pick pick apart the drainage and then figure out a game plan. You want to throw me that spotter, Nick? Do about him. What should we do about him? Yeah. We need to go whack him. Like what? 
I probably should be like, probably have you run up this ridge, scare him over to us, and he'll <laughs> sit over here, shoot him. What's that called? He's already timbering up. I'm not. Either way, we're still going up there, though, so. All right, it's uh, 12.30. We've uh, just been hiking all morning long. and Saw one bear up top, and then he just kind of went into the timber. And we'd worked our way over this ridge and got to a, a pine tree with a lot of shade, and we sat down and looked up the canyon, and we spotted a bear and put some glass on him. He's, a, he's really nice. He's like a reddish cinnamon dark chocolate bear. And really big front shoulders. Just a, He looks like a really nice bear, so. Had Nick grab the gun, get ready, and we moved up about 100 yards, so we're about 500 to 550 from the last spot where we seen him. He kind of dipped into some timber um, brush. And don't know if we're gonna see him until tonight. It's, uh, like I said, 12.30, so it's getting hot. We might have to retreat back to our tree and just hang out for the next six, seven hours and see what tonight holds. The ground's getting hot though. We're moving. Nick decided to go look for a camp spot, found a spot that he said is pretty much pretty flat, but it gives us a great vantage point for this evening and tomorrow morning, so we might have to just like put up some tarps or something for some shelter for the for some shade, but we're gonna move up there and it's 2.30, so we got plenty of time before stuff starts to wake up for the evening. Just keep going. <laughs> Country bear hunting at its finest. <laughs> when there's no shade, you build shade. Um, we just spotted a bear about 700 yards away. Um, we think we might try to sneak up around these rocks and try to set up on them. Um, earlier we found a bigger bear over here on this other side, and if he doesn't show soon we might i might go ahead and shoot that one because we will still have plenty of time because it's only um friday we still have two more days so i think what we'll end up doing is going up around into those rocks and trying to and just kind of waiting for a while see and try to see what happens so that's our game plan so far
that other one. Get it. Hey, hold on, Jackie. Just wait. She better shoot him. Okay, Jackson, we need to grab the gun. The packs. There's another pair right there. Big chocolate. Right to the left of that tree? Yeah. That's an iceberg, too. Let Jackson shoot first. Jackson shot. Looks like he hit him, he ran down, I shot, dumped mine, and I think Jackson's is just down here in this brush. He ran down the hill quite a ways, and then uh, never saw him come out of the bottom of the brush, so we're gonna give him a minute. Maybe go check out this other bear, and then go see what's up with his down there. I'm hoping he's dead just in that brush down there. That's what I'm doing. Good job, Nick. Glad you're hunting with us. Heck yeah, dude, that was good. Good stuff. We've got headlamps. If that bear's dead right there, we're good to go. We'll figure it out. Hey. Good job, Bubba. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Let's go find that bear. We gotta, we gotta find him. I know we will, though. western. I know we will. <laughs> he was bleeding. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Good job. Let's take Jackson. They rolled up over the top of that hill over there, and saw this bear which we saw earlier and ended up seeing another bear jackson and i got set up jackson shot and i shot dumped this guy in his tracks at 250 and uh stopped him right there walked up to him and i'm super stoked i'm gonna have a fun night that's for sure <laughs> our day just got even longer Uh, went on a track job just now. Jackson said it felt great. I was I was running him up trying to help him out and Nick blowing off my ear shooting his bear and Yeah, anyways, I didn't I didn't glass, I was just plugging my ears and probably should have been looking through the scope, but anyways, bear ran off pretty good and uh, yeah we ended up starting track the blood, not not a whole bunch, so uh, working our way through the brush and Jackson just uh, a minute ago said he sees something black. It's got to be him, Dad. And I'm like, no. And uh, sure enough, he's right here. So His first backcountry spot and stock bear. Got three bears. Twelve years old. Pretty dang awesome, dude. <laughs> first backcountry is the success. Yep, yeah, that's awesome, dude. Super fun. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, he's not as big as your bear from last year, but that's all right. Thank goodness. <laughs> he's a great bear. Because that one was right off the road. There's not too many kids that come and do 4,000 feet of elevation and they ask this place to hunt. Taxidermists oh, likes you. It's a taxidermist. You don't have to do a bunch of sawing. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna go right below that white patch and meet my other cut. So now everything is lined up, nice and uniform. Right. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull one front shoulder off, mm -hmm. pull the other front shoulder off, lay the cape, and we'll do the hind quarters. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna start skinning him, and then you're just gonna have to hold mm -hmm. the hair so it stays clean. There's snakes over there. A lot. Nah. Three. 
serious? A rattlesnake right there. Oh, I jumped about six two feet big, in the air. Two big bull snakes. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Perfect awesome. place to camp. Well, yeah, Jackson's bear back to camp. Yeah, not too bad. The, got the better end of the bargain on this one. <laughs> it looks like. We're gonna go around the corner, find some trees, some shade, and hang it up. And then come back and sweat it out in the sun the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> I foresee. Did you guys see anything? I thought I'd seen one along the, on the right side of those trees over there, but I couldn't tell in time. Gotcha. Seen something move, but... Yeah, we're gonna go. Jackson went into the tent for a little bit. He had a headache. He laid down for about 20 minutes. He said he's all better now. Like, I wish my headaches went away that fast. I still got one. I'll have to have another cup of coffee. You guys booked it. Yeah. Hey, that ain't too bad there, bud. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'd say. So how you getting them down? Me? Roll them. <laughs> Throw them. Jackson or the bear? Both. <laughs> Probably the easiest. If we just stack our packs on you and roll you down, you should be cushioned. Yeah. Be okay. Might be. We'll take the expensive stuff, the cameras and everything else. And back to the ground. You guys get water? Yeah, it's in the tent. Make a you, guys, you guys already filter it or no? Yeah, you gotta squeeze it out of the bottles. Your camp, your camp nurse can help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the camp nurse? I'm looking at him, he's behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the cameraman, I can't be both. And you only got one easy roll just to pull the trigger and I got three jobs? Yeah. How's that work? Tough shit. And, <laughs> I got I'm the just short just, stick. I'm just the trooper. <laughs> Hey, we should get some sunscreen on. Okay? Good. You will fry. And you'll be even more miserable. Will you take a nap for me too? Sure. Can you do that for us? I already did. <laughs> she did. Yeah, he fell asleep. It's like. 10 o'clock and he's already got a nap. He was like, Jackson, Jackson. <laughs> hey, bear, hey, bear. Oh, cold. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll be back in a while. It's going to be fun getting up that. No, it's not. Yeah. That's what you call yeah. that. Think about it in a positive way. <laughs> Well, see you later. All right, it's Sunday the 21st. Season closes tomorrow. Uh, we've decided that we are gonna head out this morning. We've been here for a couple days. Uh, it's just been really hot, and to, to get two bears off the mountain is gonna be a challenge in itself. And so we're gonna, we're gonna eat our remaining tags unless we see a bear on the way out, but it's been an awesome trip. Super happy with just how everything unfolded. Yesterday we did turn up some more bears, but they were just a little bit far off for what we have to do today in packing the two. So we're taking all the meat, which you don't have to here in Idaho. So that's one thing that you kind of have to sacrifice is, do I just go harvest another bear for its hide or pack all the meat and we're gonna pack the meat. So we're gonna head out of here. It's been an awesome trip. We're gonna walk around the corner, grab the bear, both bears, load them up and work our way down this canyon. So. Awesome spring hunt, it's been a lot of fun and hopefully you guys enjoy this content. Ready for this? Yeah. You? No. <laughs> no, I'm not really ready. Got some stuff. Steep as crap. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's gonna be brutal. Here we go. How's that? Oh, we've just been picking our way down this trail. 
more like a rock scurry covered in grass and yeah, it's been fun. Yeah. Okay.